In 2003, Megan O'Leary arrived in Charlottesville, set to play on the front lines of a memorial gym for the Virginia volleyball team. The 2002 National High School Heisman winner tallied 44 kills in 12 matches before the spring of 2005 when she decided to play softball. O'Leary finished her final two years at Virginia playing four different positions on the diamond, writing for the Cavalier Daily, and hosting the TV show Cavalier Sports Weekly four times. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Megan O'Leary, number 18 on the softball team. Our spring sports will soon be underway. But right now, we're all about basketball. Megan was a Jefferson Scholar at UVA, a five-time member of the Atlantic Coast Conference Academic Honor Roll, and a double major in Religious Studies and Sociology. Following graduation, O'Leary became a full-time staff member in production and programming for ESPN. She would eventually be presented with an opportunity to work with an old acquaintance and explore the depths of a new sport she would soon come to love. And I, I'd seen her around, you know, just around, like, you know, I'm going, wow, that's a kid's a stud athlete, you can tell, right, you know. And then I heard a rumor that she was thinking about maybe giving up volleyball. So I approached her and said, like, wow, you ought to try rowing. You know, you'd be really good at that. So she, you know, said, oh, yeah, no, I think I'm going to play softball, you know. And I think I said something silly like, uh, well, why don't play in the dirt? Play in the water, you know, give it a shot, you know. And, that, and she actually did a, a piece with us uh, when she was working for ESPNU. Uh, she uh, kind of coordinated the San Diego Crew Classic, and that got on TV. So I was working with her on that a little bit. And then she called me and said, uh, you'll never guess what I'm doing. doing. I'm going, no, don't even tell me. And she goes, yeah, I'm going to start rowing. You know, then she said, yeah, they want me to do something on the erg. And gave her a couple suggestions. She did really well, you know, and then it just kind of hit the track running. She just got better and better and better. But, you know, she trained here for maybe two or three weeks. And then she went to Princeton, the National Training Center, and did kind of a tryout process. And the national team coach, you know, afterwards says, like, well, you ought to, like, stay here. And she called me up and said, like, well, Tom, Tom Terhar, the national, she, he says that I'm doing well enough to how to stay here. And I go, yeah. She says, well, what do you think I should do? And I go, stay in Princeton, you know? And she goes, well, but I was going to train in Virginia. And I go, like, yeah, okay, but change your mind and stay in Princeton. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm Megan O'Leary, double timing as a member of the ESPN programming department and training with the US Women's Rowing Team out here before six o'clock most days. Only to hustle back, shower, put some sort of professional dress on, and get to work. So from the water to the office, I like to say that I put in a full half day of work before my actual work day begins. But here I am, ESPN, and then on to another training session this afternoon. In the summer of 2011, Megan made the difficult decision to decrease her workload at ESPN to fully dedicate herself to rowing. Despite just a few years of experience, O'Leary has since medaled in two world championships, earning a spot on two different U.S. senior national teams. She's currently preparing for this summer's world championship, with her sights set on the 2016 Olympics in Rio. She epitomizes that, you know, bold in the pursuit of excellence. Uh, you know, like she had a really good gig with, with ESPN, you know, and then just said, okay, I'm going full tilt for this thing. That takes a lot of guts, but she had to take a chance be bold enough to say, wow, this is something, I have a short window of opportunity to do this, let's go for it all, you know, and that's what she's done, it's pretty cool. 